Another thing you can do is rename the columns when you select them. This is handy if you want to have something else displayed as the column header. So in our case here, I could take the um, select company name, and instead of saying company name here, I, I can come and say, let's move this up a little bit so you guys, whoops, so you can see it. I can say select company name um, as company, and then city from customers. And you see it comes back with company, then city. I can also uh, write expressions so um, to you know change the value that comes back from the the query. So for instance, let's say I wanted to make all the company names um, uppercase. I could say select, and then the command is upper. I go upper company name as company from customers. And you can see here now the company names are all in uppercase. And to be honest, this is where the uh, being able to rename the column really shines because if I hadn't done that, it just comes back with like, I think just the ugly uh, column name, which is the expression itself. That doesn't look very pretty. And plus it's hard to refer to later on if you're, as your queries build upon queries. So it's always good to rename or is what they call alias so uh, I'm going to get into another example here where I'm going to kind of build up um, employee names. So I'm going to start with the example where I'm just going to pick the um, uppercase of the um, employee's first name. And we're going to do that in the, the next segment.